Hey everybody, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited to do an Everyday Explorers stamp project and this is actually probably, yeah, this is my first voiceover since dental surgery. So hopefully <laughs> it goes all right. So I am going to put together a pocket page for the right hand side with four vertical three by four pockets and then two on the left hand side. It was a kind of weird spot that wound up in my February section so I wanted to see what photos I hadn't used in the other pages and these were the photos. So I decided to title the page Little Stories and so I'm just going to document these little stories and add a bunch of stamps and make my own cards and that's what I love showing you guys is how to use your stamps and make them your own. So my thinking is that the card that's going to go on the left is going to be the kind of title card and I'll also add some bullet point journaling later on. Now I've talked about these stickers and how very very sticky they are which is great because they'll last long right but they accidentally got stuck to the paper before I was ready and so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting. I couldn't really move one of the T's that was crooked. I could only move the I without tearing a bunch of stuff but in the end that will work out and I have a great title that says little and I thought that was a fun way of making little big um, kind of like a play on words and size and then I stamped or I wrote out stories, but I stamped heck yes in this beautiful Distress Oxide ink. I think it's called Salvage Patina, I think. And I have February up at the top. And of course, I will use a bunch of the mixed marks. I think that's the one I used. But I love the flower in the stamp set, and it really it goes perfect with the theme of February. I also got out the thankful mini book stamp set. I think that was from January and that one had these great love kind of themed sentiments. I did decide to take uh, a few of the flowers and stamp them on a piece of cardstock and fussy cut out those. That way it was something that was a little more dimensional that I could add to the spread because that was the only dimensional thing that I added. I thought about adding enamel dots or something else but in the end, I just, I don't mind using just stamps on my projects. I'd love to know in the comment section how you feel when you do stamp projects. Do you feel like you have to add something dimensional? I'd love to know. Okay, so on this particular card, I decided it'd be fun to kind of do a almost like a bouquet or a scattering of flowers all on the right hand side and then I could add some phrases and pop dot one of the phrases. I also have two of the stamped flowers left over so I'm going to go ahead and use those. So the phrases I chose was so grateful for this moment and so thankful for this. And I used the cobalt ink since my bestie uh, was wearing like a like a dark blue sweater so I wanted to bring in that color a little bit and I really love the blues and pinks together for February just such a great color combination for this month so I fussy cut out both of those phrases and I will put so grateful flat and thankful for this uh, pop dotted and I will just frame the flowers above and below that I'm also going to add in some more stampy layers with the stamping of a blue heart and also the uh, X and circle with some black. And after this card, I am going to add two icons to the smaller photos. That way I can jot down a little story on those. And like I said earlier, I just picked photos that had not been used in any of my projects. And I'm glad that I actually did this layout because that photo of my bestie and I is one of my like all-time favorite photos that we've recently taken and I really love that photo of the kids and I because really in the winter months like January and February we spent like every weekend at the park and it was just so much fun to be able to start our year like that and then continue to do that because getting outside is just a game changer for our day and being home with kids. 
I also took this fun selfie in our truck when we went to a national bird refuge and I just we love this place we love it so much so I decided to include that and talk about our spring break and how or oh actually it was not spring break my kids get off a whole week in February for President's Day so that's when that photo was taken and I just wrote about how I was thankful for all of that family time. Now I'm going to bring everything back together to see if I like it and this is where I decide to add a bullet point list over on the February Little Stories card. I just felt like I had left somewhat of an awkward space between the heck yes cluster and love this so much and I felt like something needed to go there so the bullet point list would work out great. I also added the cobalt hearts to it since um, it didn't have anything that was cobalt and I wanted to bring that color to the left side. So I just added a few things like our I had a scrapbook get together, seeing my best friend, getting my hair done, and just making sure that I was able to explain the other photos and a few other things about the month. So there you go. It's in the album and now I can start on the next little project, which I am super excited. It will be um, a kind of end of the month review and I did something similar in January. I will leave that video up in the eye, but in January I just did stamps, only stamps, no photos, but I had this really beautiful photo of me doing a ballet pose that I had not scrapbooked yet, so I knew I needed to use that photo and I am all for telling yourself that you are beautiful when you are doing beautiful things, whether it's a ballet pose or you're just rock in the day. So I had that ballet pose and I just blew it up really big so it would be outside the page protector because uh, that's the spot that I had and I really wanted the photo big. And then I decided, you know what, I can take that quick note stamp set, I believe that's what it's called, and uh, put some, some of those notes around the outside of my photo because the outside edges of my photo had like my door and then my chair. And so it had like the perfect like negative space for me to put these different blocks. I also decided that the shape that I would use is an X. You know, I gravitate towards flowers all the time, but I thought X's would be a nice switch up. Also stamped uh, my happy place, and this is so good for my soul. That way I could uh, use those on the page because I'm going for pink and red since it's February and also the colors in my photo and what I was wearing uh, are those colors as well. So now what I'm doing is I'm cutting out everything and then I can start to assemble my um, spread. And I have two of each of the notes pretty much. And I took one of the notes and only did half and then used like the washi stamp portion on it. Um, it turned out all right. I probably should have stamped the top so that way you could see the line for the stamp and then the washi if that makes sense. But I'm going to use them anyways and I'll also go to my color cast design stash and see if there's any acrylic pieces that I can pull out. So cutting these out is really simple, really easy to fussy cut all of these pieces out. And um, I also wanted to say that I am a big fan of making sure that you document yourself. As you guys know, if you've been around here for a while, uh, document yourself, celebrate yourself, and tell yourself you are awesome and beautiful and strong. So you're doing great. Um, I am now going to take that currently stamp set. I'm not sure if it's available anymore, but it has all these great currently prompts on it. And I'm going to just pick some to add to these different uh, boxes and little notes. So I picked currently exploring, currently watching, current project. I just tried to think about things I may not have covered in my everyday spread. That's another Everyday Explorers project that I did. So I kind of picked prompts that hadn't been talked about and that I could look in my journal for kind of the quote unquote answer because um, I have my journal and my journal has all my notes. So that'll work out great to help me fill in these different boxes. 
now I am placing everything and I started writing on the left hand side and my camera died or my phone died and so you will not see the left hand side but I'm gonna come back in a little bit and then finish the uh, right hand side. So I apologize that my phone died. Sometimes you get so into a project, you don't, you just don't realize that like, I don't know, the world's burning down or the phone dies. You just keep going with your project. And that's kind of how it was for me. Cause I, I haven't scrapbooked much since my dental surgery. So I was really excited to do this project and just didn't notice my phone was kaput. So my thinking is for these notes is to add the X's and um, disperse them around and I found the acrylics. I have like two dark red acrylics, like just two left and I'm going to use those up and I have two red hearts as well. Okay, so I have filled out currently reading with some of the books, currently exploring and currently watching and I just used my journal tracker to write out all of those. So that was super easy. For currently up at the top, I just put, I'm very thankful for a great month so far, or not so far. I'm grateful for a good month because this is at the end of the month. And then I put the pink uh, X. Next, I'll put me in my happy place. And that's going to be kind of a bigger cluster. That way it's more of a focal spot. I put currently inspired by and my workouts currently. They continue to be the best tool in being mentally healthy. And I love moving. So I'm going to add a red and a pink X to both uh, both that little section. That way it's, like I said, a main little cluster. The next one is going to be current project. And I use the negative space down by my chair. And I just uh, wrote down Project Life 2020, book die cuts, and then a crafty update video. And the next one is going to be currently enjoying. And I decided to... Uh, just make a quick list like off the top of my head what was happening in June that I really enjoyed. So I went with journaling, park trips, weekly hikes, reading, and all the carrot cake. And then I was thinking if I tell you guys in this video about carrot cake, maybe we should start counting. How many times does Sabrina mention carrot cake? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I miss my carrot cake, but I think I can have it now. It's like soft enough that I can have carrot cake. Uh, I also decided to add at the last minute a current favorite because I wanted to jot down that my husband and I celebrated 14 years for our anniversary. Added in two iridescent acrylics to use up those and then this project will be done and I can add it into my album. This also means January and February are done in my me album. So that's very exciting to have two months done. And I hope you have enjoyed both of these projects. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.